Alright, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Mayhem. Another new truck, and another new track. And, as you can see, this is Spider-Man. Now, this is a new version that was actually just released, uh, just within the last couple of days. The truck looks really good, it's really well done, it's got good suspension, Kind of some generic tires, but that's not so bad. Body looks great. Paint job's really well done. Now, the Spider-Man truck has been retired since about 2013, I believe. So, this is a new... I guess you could kind of call it a custom version because this is supposed to be a 2016 version of the truck but as I said it's been retired for like three years so they don't even run it on the Monster Jam circuit anymore so yeah but the truck looks really good it runs pretty good from what I've seen I've just spent the last few minutes running around this track <laughs> this track, by the way. This track is called the Indy Jam 2016. This is a custom truck, or custom track, rather. And I'm on the racing version of it. The freestyle version's a little bit different. But I'm on the racing version here. And, uh, as you can see, I'm stalled up here on the start line. Now, it's kind of an interesting track. Uh, it's another one of those where each lane is different, but both competitors have to run both lanes anyways. So, it doesn't really matter. Okay, another thing I like about the truck, it's got the good, uh, it's got the good, uh, engine noises that I really like. So let's take you for a test run on this track. You start off, you go across this little hump, little set of cars. The set of cars always kind of throws you off. You got to turn here. Turn here, you got another cut, a couple of ramps here. Come across here. Come across here. Big swooping turn here. Back across this hump again. Another little set of cars. Getting out of shape here. Come straight down this stretch. Make the J hook turn to hit this nice big ramp here. Come down here. And then you gotta make another U turn. And we're right back where we started. Back across the hump again, across the set of cars again, and that line there is the finish line. Yeah, that line right here. This is your finish line. So that would have been the whole race from that lane. And then on the other side, you can start from this line over here. chewed up on this side, so that kind of makes staging a little bit of a bitch, but oh well. And I ain't really all that straight for them cars. Oh well, we'll go for a test lap in this lane. Cross the hump. Set of cars. Those cars always seem to throw you kind of crooked every time. It's because the ramp isn't wide enough. Spun it out. Across this big old jump here. Take it a little bit better that time. The truck bounces a little bit. I don't know if that's the suspension or the tires. 
but it's got a bad habit of bouncing real bad there. Over the hump here. Set of cars here. That was actually fairly smooth. Come back around this turn. And over these ramps here. Nice big swoop and turn again. It's trying to spin out on me. I'll hit the hump one more time, and this set of cars one more time, and that'll be our finish. <laughs> Probably not the best laps, but, you know, just demonstrating here. As you can see, we got plenty of objects for uh, freestyle obstacles. I found that this right here is really good for backflips. As I said, I was kind of practicing on this track, and I did a backflip off of this thing. That sucked. Did a backflip off of the thing. And when I landed, I threw it into reverse. And I did this huge reverse wheelie, and it was awesome. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to recreate that, but I'm going to try. Let's see here. Nope. You can do backflips off of that ramp, and off of this ramp over here, too. Not exactly sure who Chris B is. I'm guessing the person who made the track. That's great. Anyways. Yeah, you gotta finesse it with this ramp for some reason. I don't know why. Come on. Yeah. There we go. That was ugly, but it righted itself, so at least there's that. But yeah, there's a bunch of freestyle objects, and the track does get changed up a little bit on the freestyle version. It adds a couple of things. It takes out these cars that are in these little spots here for the racing, those little cars to try to keep you on the track. Guy wheelie ramp there. There's this, uh, looks like moving trucks stack here, also good for sky wheelies. There we go. Reverse wheelie. Oop. <laughs> that was sweet. The one thing you don't want to do is hit this ramp going that direction because you're not going to jump this ramp here. That ah, shit. Come on, pull it down. Also, don't go trying to go up the wrong ends of those ramps. It just doesn't work. So you can clear it going that way because the one ramp is bigger than the other one. I'll just show you off to demonstrate, but hitting this one this way is not a good idea. This is We're about to take a big old tumble here. Well, maybe I was wrong. I'll just put my foot in my mouth. Oh! Damn. This truck ramp here is real good.
like this ramp here because it's got the red and the blue splatter effect that kind of matches the truck. Uh-oh. For some reason, some frame rate issues. Not sure why that's going on. It is a big track, though, so there's a lot of stuff. And the dust particles probably don't help. see the sign, Indy Jam 2016. It's actually a good place to, uh, it's actually where you spawn is over here. I guess this would be out in the parking lot. Uh-oh. Land it! Oh my god, yes! Oh no! No! Oh! Oh, that was almost awesome. Oh, cars there kind of get in the way of the freestyle, but wouldn't have been able to show you the proper racetrack had I done the freestyle version. Because they take and they put a set of cars back down in that direction, and that kind of messes with the, free, uh, the racing lane. Uh-oh. Somehow managed to save that. Uh oh, that's bad. Sway bars seem to be holding up on this truck rather well, though, so that's kind of good. Uh-oh. Into the barricades. Now you can even go up here on these hills. Not that there's really anything to it, but... Let's see if we can get back in here. There we go. I think it might have to do the high-res textures of the track mixed with the high-res textures on the truck. My computer's not so good, so it can't really handle all this high-res stuff sometimes. Show that thing some love there. Oh, 
that'd be... Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Jesus. He he's waving. He's got the one arm up. He's waving. They're saluting. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, we'll fix that. <laughs> that jump almost went good, had I not hit the truck stack over there. Oh. that works somehow. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Aww. There you go. And it rolls. Try this again. Okay, well that was cool. Backflip was a pirouette thing at the end. Okay. Well, I'd say that's about good enough for that. it's glitching out because it's parked on the thing. Oh yeah, that's shaking. Okay. Guess it doesn't like being up there. So, uh, Tell you what. There's another place we can park. It's still jiggling. Okay, that fixed that. Park on top of these two houses right here. There we go. The inside of the truck isn't super well detailed. There's no gas brake pedals at all, let alone have them moving. At least I don't see them anywhere. Uh, it's got safety switches over here. Can't really see them through the bars of the seat. You can't see out the back, of course, because the body style kind of prevents that. It's definitely a cool truck. It looks cool. It handles good. Uh, I'd say it's a good truck. But this has been Spider-Man. 2016 custom I guess you could call it a custom since it's not really a replica because the truck doesn't even it's been retired as I said for about three years now so kind of a custom you could call it and this has been the uh, can't even see it from here but Indie Jam 2016 Indie Nation yes
thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, join us next time for another hopefully new track and a hopefully another new truck. Uh, as I've mentioned before, with the point four version of the game, uh, people are having to convert the old tracks to the new format so that they work with the point four version of the game. And right now, I can't even do the old version of the game, point thirty-eight or whatever, because my the the truck file, the V4 truck file, uh, I can't figure out where to put it to make it work so I can actually have trucks to run. So I've got plenty of tr uh, tracks for point thirty-eight, but the, I, I don't know where to put the truck folder, the truck file, to have trucks to drive. So even if I get a bunch of awesome trucks, it's not going to matter. I can't show you nothing without a good truck to drive around in. So i got to get that figured out before I can even do that. But for right now, I'm just waiting on people to convert more tracks to .4. The trucks always work, which is kind of funny. The, going between 38 and point four, the trucks always work. At least for me, they do. I don't know. It's a pretty good looking truck, though. And I've always loved Spider-Man. He's one of my favorite comic book characters. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Join us next time for another track and another truck. And we'll see you then for that. So thank you and good night.